This is a family cemetery in western North Carolina. Marcus and Susan and their family, almost a hundred years ago, looked to the future. They had a dream to establish the Lutheran faith in this community. They provided the chestnut lumber and the property, while the North Carolina Synod provided the labor. And in 1926, St. Mark's Lutheran Church was dedicated to the glory of God. We celebrate the faith of our ancestors who shared Christ. We celebrate congregations across North Carolina as they change lives. Youth ministry, uh, Grace Youth Ministry, Jim, G-Y-M, is, is like just about every other youth ministry in one aspect that, that every adult will say, the future of the church is our children, our youth. And so they're excited when they see you. If we're, as a congregation, about transforming lives through Christ, then the transformation comes in, in what we communicate in, in youth group and confirmation class, how the students can apply that to their daily lives at home and at school and interactions with each other. We really do walk with our youth instead of doing ministry to our youth. For our middle school youth, uh, we meet weekly, helping them through confirmation activities and large group session, but also we have a unique program with our small group guides, and those are adults that volunteer their time to be small group leaders and guides with our different age levels of middle school youth. We also have mentors for each of those uh, confirmation students. The mentoring program is really cool because as you are ending eighth grade, moving into the ninth grade, the high school section, you need to have a mentor so that they can help you move into your faith journey. When I met my mentor, it was nice to have his perspective on how he's looking back at his Christian journey so that I can learn some things that he has t learned through his time here. For our high school students, we try to go a little deeper. We use a, a program called Grace Space, which is a very unique thing that we've been doing new this year with our high school students, and that's a time when they can just worship together. The youth program here at Grace is really good at getting us involved in things of the church. We do second Sunday lunch, and we get to serve lunch to the congregation. And that gives us a chance just to talk with the older people and just like bring them in with us and we, you know, collide, which is awesome. You can always stop a, a child or a youth and have a conversation with them. And so many members of our congregation do that. The role the youth program plays in the congregation is, is fantastic because it lets everybody be part of a community. Uh, there's no separation really between the youth and the rest of the congregation. They're not their own entity. It was really evident at, at the most recent Youth Sunday service where, where they wrote the liturgy, wrote the sermon and delivered it. And everybody's like, wow. These are our kids. We talk about family of God at Grace or the Grace Lutheran family. Uh, much more than a congregation, much more than just being members, but to be family. And, uh, and that was really thrilling to, to see them do that. Holly Grove Lutheran Church was invited to use a process called Natural Church Development in 2007. Uh, it's a renewal tool that helps congregation realize where their greatest opportunity for growth will be. And our uh, greatest opportunity for growth was in the area of need-oriented evangelism. We invited some leaders from the local schools to come and talk with us about what those schools saw as a need. So we developed the backpack program, which provides uh, 30 backpacks of healthy food to uh, needy children in local schools. Because a lot of times the teachers will hear the child say, I didn't have anything to eat this morning or we don't have enough food in the cabinets over the weekend or something to that effect. So then I'll send home a letter asking permission from the family to provide them with a backpack full of Let them know that Holly Grove Lutheran Church is the one that's providing that for us. The support from our congregation has been good. Uh, anytime we ask for uh, either monies or for product or merchandise, uh, we normally get it. Uh, there's five or six of us that come over and pack. You know, each time we do this, there's a good feeling after we lay out 30 bags. What Holly Grove doesn't get to see is the excitement on the kids' faces when they come to pick up the backpacks. That They're thrilled about it, they appreciate it, and when I talk to the families, 
they are also very appreciative. Secondly, we learned also that just down the road, about half a mile away from us, there was a teen parent program. We send some mentors to the uh, schools to meet with and encourage and support and love the students. The mentoring program to me is the most important because that is week in, week out, um, and it's very personal and, and hands-on, so that's what I appreciate the most. During lunch, their lunch break, we come out and just mingle with them and talk with them, ask them how they're doing. Things like when we first come, I guess we're all sort of shy, and the girls especially, but then till the semester's over, I feel like we get to know them pretty well. Our church provides a baby shower for these girls each semester, and that's wonderful for these girls. It's not so frightening, you know, perhaps later in life when they choose to, to try church. This ministry has brought an awareness to us of the needs of those who are so very close to where we are. And we leave this church building and we go out to the schools to, the, to bring the backpacks to them and to meet with the students in the schools. And that's really important for us that, that strengthened by the grace we receive here in this place, we then leave to share that grace with others. Community Christ Lutheran Church is a medium-sized growing congregation here on the shores of Lake Norman, north of Charlotte. Our Montagnard ministry, um, it's hard to explain really how it got started. It's one of the Holy Spirit things that when you try to trace it back, it started uh, with, with one guy, Ron Major, who uh, had a connection with some of the refugees who were being relocated from Vietnam, Montagnard refugees. The Montagnard ministries have energized and engaged our congregation in ways I've never seen before. I've attended there for 30 years. And uh, the vast majority of the people in that congregation are involved in some way with the Montagnard Ministries. So he asked members to come alongside and help him do tutoring and the, and the thing just kind of snowballed. We transport the children up here from their homes and their apartments in West Charlotte. We are able to transport about 50 children each week. The tutors are, a lot of them are people from Community in Christ Lutheran Church. However, we also have other tutors from the community. I personally came to Community in Christ because I saw a newspaper ad about this type of program happening. Five years ago, 95% of the Montagnard children were becoming discouraged in school, failing, and dropping out of school. Today, uh, not one child sent in five years, and we have over 160 kids, have dropped out of school. It was great, because uh, uh, tutoring helped me with the math. You just fall in love with the kids. The main thing we're doing, or my main goal, keep them off of drugs, out of gangs, and uh, keep their grades up. And then as those relationships developed, as we got to know the kids and the families, uh, we started thinking about what else could we offer. And so we rented an apartment in uh, Charlotte, West Charlotte. And so now there's something almost every day of the week in this little apartment, tutoring, worship, uh, ESL classes, children's Bible studies. We got an intern from the community. God has called me to help my people to uh, tell them, like, teach them how to walk on the right path. The thing I'd want to say to other congregations who are excited about this kind of ministry and really um, getting their hands dirty, so to speak, and following Jesus in the real world is go for it and see what God does. These three congregations are finding excitement and joy as they are led by God's Spirit in service to others. And across the state, from the mountains to the seashore, other ministries are changing lives as congregations discern God's call. This is the sanctuary of St. Mark's, and these are children of God. They've been claimed in the water and the word. They're hearing of God's love in Jesus and have been given faith in holy baptism. And this is where we become children of God. God claims us in the water and the word here at this font. And this is God's altar. 
It is where we receive Christ's body and blood. Christ himself is present. We are the guests and Christ himself is the host. And this is where we hear God's good news of grace and salvation. Word and Sacrament prepares us for the future and invites us to ask a key question. What is God calling us to be and to do? I believe that God's Spirit is calling us to move forward together so that those who follow us will come to believe that Jesus is Lord of all and share that life-changing good news. I encourage you to participate in this special emphasis, Forward Together in Christ in Community. This is my personal invitation to you to join your sisters and brothers throughout the Synod in prayer, Bible study, getting to know your community better, and expanding your vision for the future. Please come along and invite a companion for the journey.